Well, hi, friends. I hope that these devotionals have been beneficial to you. I know for me, it's been a sweet thing to journey together in this final week of Jesus's life and prepare ourselves for Easter in this way. Uh, as the as those final week of Jesus's life uh, wears on, uh, what we see is that Jesus uh, begins to speak more and more about a preparation for his coming and preparation for judgment. Now it's interesting that he's that he's doing that because obviously, you know, he's about to step uh, toward the cross himself. He's about to uh, take on the penalty of our final judgment. But he is in that moment setting us up for the fact that he's going to return and that's going to be a, a significant moment for each of us. We have to prepare for that. So l- let me just ask that question. Are you prepared for Christ to come again? It's it's funny in the in the midst of this uh corona a virus pandemic as 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 one of the things that's happened in the midst of this is is that there have been all of these shortages on all sorts of things and it's it's kind of this this test of are you ready are you ready like surprise here it comes here it is are you ready for it and so you know there's no toilet paper there's no hand sanitizer there's no Lysol there's no all of this stuff is all of a sudden gone and I think it's what it what it shows us is is when the pop quiz comes, when that test comes, like, are we actually ready for it? When we, when we served in, uh, in India, one of the things that oftentimes, not just in India, but, uh, but many sort of cross-cultural experiences is that as a pastor, as an American pastor, I'm used to having a certain amount of time of preparation to preach and to teach. But when you, when you're, when you go to an overseas environment, oftentimes those moments come, it's like, okay, pastor, Give us a sermon right now. And it's like, whoa, am I ready for this? And that's that's what Jesus is saying in this text. He's he's saying, Are you ready? Are you ready today for my return, for my judgment? Uh, let's let's read this parable. It's, it's found in Matthew 25, verses uh, 1 through 13. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five of them were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going to go out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy it for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you do not know neither the day nor the day nor the hour. Now, the, the picture that Jesus gives us here is of a Jewish wedding. And in a Jewish wedding, what would happen would be the, the bridegroom would, would come with his, you know, his groomsmen, his party, and, and come to the bride's house, and, and there would there'd be a great celebration. He would, he would take her, and they would take her back to the, bride, the, sorry, to the groom's house, and there they would have the huge reception, the huge celebration. And, um, you know, just because of, of the reality, even culturally, of, you know, not being like a time conscious culture, it's kind of like, hey, I'm going to be there sometime today, you know, I'm, I'm going to come. And, uh, and, and the bride had to be ready. And, and here we, we see that analogy placed here for the second coming of Christ. Christ will come again. We know it's going to happen. We don't know when. I think a lot of us sort of operate in this kind of almost like a gambler's kind of reality with our spiritual life that we say, hey, you know what? That's, that's a real spiritual issue for me, but I'll get it in, I'll get it in order before Christ comes. I'll get it in order before, uh, before my last day, before I die. But, but who of us knows? Who of us knows if, if we won't die today, if we won't die tomorrow, if, if, if Jesus Christ will not return? And Christ says, live such that your conscience is ready today for Jesus Christ. What does it look like for, for me, for you, to, to be in a place where, where we're ready, 
What's the unforgiveness in my heart that I need to release to Christ? What are the ways in which, which the world has grabbed hold of me? What are, what are the addictions that I have? What are the, the places where, the, where I've allowed an enemy, the enemy to gain foothold in my life that I need to repent of and turn today? What are the ways that I, I haven't prioritized my relationship with Christ, my, my engagement, engagement with his word? What are the things that I'm, if, 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 if I were to know this was my final day, what are the things that I would regret? And let's change. Let's turn. Let's, let's set our hearts. I mean, I, I think for all of us, uh, I, I hope COVID-19 has been a wake-up call to be like, whoa, the world can change like this. What does it look like? For us to be those who are, whose lives are set in order, whose priorities are set in the reality of Jesus Christ, our Savior who loves us and is coming again. It's an invitation. It's an invitation from one who loves us. Because what, what in the world and why in the world am I holding on to unforgiveness? Why in the world am I not setting into, stepping into the freedom of Christ today in the midst of addictions? Why, why do I hold on to these things? It's for my benefit that I'm ready for Christ to return today. So let's be ready for the bridegroom. Let's be ready for Jesus Christ. Let's set our hearts on him and our preparation on him. Have a great day.